Good day. My name is Amahdi Ali, and today I'm presenting my final pr project proposal, Flutter Analysis of a Medium Aspect Ratio Wing. What is wing flutter? Wing flutter is a phenomenon where a wing vibrates uncontrollably at one of its natural frequencies or when the effective damping coefficient of one of its normal modes equals zero. Flutter phenomenon can also be seen in buildings, bridges, and road signs. As airspeed increases over a wing, Aerodynamic energy is being added to the wing which results in vibrations of the wing. Inherent structural damping usually eventually eliminates these vibrations and the energy is transmitted to the airflow. However, at a particular speed, referred to as the flutter speed or the critical speed, the structure is unable to remove the induced vibrations and the aerodynamic energy is absorbed by the wing which results in a continuous oscillation of increasing amplitude. Aspect ratio. Aspect ratio is given as the ratio of the square of the wingspan to the gross area of the wing. This translates to the ratio of the wingspan to the mean chord length of the airfoil. Therefore, it is an indication of either the slenderness or lack thereof of a wing. The picture illustrates the three aspect ratio types, that is high, medium, and low. High is usually associated with high altitude aircraft such as spy planes, uh, for example the U-2 spy plane. But also some passenger aircraft such as the ATR-72 has high aspect ratios uh, that is uh, uh, approximately 12. Low aspect ratio is typically associated with a supersonic aircraft such as the Concorde which has an aspect ratio of 1.7 and also fighter jets. For comparison, the A380 has an aspect ratio of 7.53 and the Boeing 737-800 has an aspect ratio of 7.45. It must be noted at this point that high, medium, and low aspect ratio wings exhibit different behaviors. In the past, linear analysis have been applied to nonlinear coupling. Now, nonlinear coupling is where normal modes are characterized by both torsion and bending as opposed to torsion only or bending only. Researchers recently found that linear analysis yielded inaccurate results of the flutter speed in high aspect ratio wings. Nonlinearity was also found in medium aspect ratio wings, but a comparison of results uh, of linear and nonlinear analysis for medium aspect ratio wings must be done. This takes me to the aim of the project. That is, to compare the results of a linear and nonlinear analysis of aeroelastic flutter of a medium aspect ratio wing and determine whether analysis, the linear analysis is suitable for medium aspect ratio wings. The objectives of this project are to construct a medium aspect ratio wing, to subject the wing to increasing air velocity in a subsonic wind tunnel, to examine the onset and subsequent evolution of flutter, to apply linear and non-linear analysis methods, and then to compare the results of both methods and then determine whether linear analysis is suitable for medium aspect ratio wings. Resource and support requirements. Funding is a main resource required for this project. Funding will be required to purchase the materials to construct the wing. Equipment such as a subsonic wind tunnel, uh, which will be used to mimic the environment that a wing normally operates in. Strain gauges, which will be used for, to measure deflections. A hot wire anemometer, which will be used to measure flow velocity. And a pressure transducer, which will be used to measure the pressure differentials across the wing, are all required for a mechanical engineering department. Analysis software such as MATLAB as well as rapid prototyping software such as MasterCAM is also required from the mechanical engineering department. Access will be required to the CNC lab as well as support from lab personnel to operate equipment such as the CNC mill. Support from the workshop staff is also required in the construction of the wing model. And I'd like to show um, the Gantt chart which was created in Microsoft Project. Uh, to the left, uh, we have the tasks 
together with the durations as well as a list of resources required for each task. And then to the right, we have a graphical representation of the, the of, of all of the tasks. Uh, the red bars represent the main task, the blue bars are the subtasks, and the black diamonds, they are the milestones of the project. And you will notice that next to each task and subtask, uh, sorry, each subtask, uh, the, the resource requirements are also listed there. This brings me to the end of my project, sorry, my uh, proposal presentation, and I thank you for listening. Have a great day.